Recording. Wait, can you turn it back around so I can see? Thank you. Am I really in focus? I, don't, I feel like I don't look like I'm in focus. <laughs> Stop. That's right. Mm -mm. You're good, Shantiqua. Wait, flip it back around now. <laughs> Thank you. See, this is why I need an autofocus camera. All my life I had to fight. <laughs> channel guys thank you for joining in if you are new thanks for joining or if you have subscribed thanks for joining the crew if you haven't I don't know what you guys are waiting for my name is Sherelle and today I'm gonna to be doing my monthly favorites or my beauty favorites my monthly favorites my favorites I'll just leave it at that um, I have some products that I want to talk about uh, some of them I have spoken about uh, in pre previous videos so hopefully this isn't for you I don't think it's boring it's gonna be great okay so so we're going to start off with one of my recent like loves for the month and this is going to be the Sephora Infusion Drops. This is in the color Mocha. I picked this up a couple months back and I just finally got a chance to start using it uh, since moving and I really really do like this. I probably use maybe one, two, three, three drops full all over my face and then I'll go in with my next favorite which is from Loud Cosmetics. This is just their flat kabuki brush. Uh, I didn't clean it because I obviously used it today before I did or while I was doing my makeup but I really like this. The only unfortunate thing about this brush is in order to purchase it unless they've changed since I've been on their site I will look it up in a second because I'm sitting right next to my computer is that if you want this brush you have to buy the whole set but I can say the whole set is definitely worth it. I've had these brushes for some time now. I ordered them maybe nine months ago and I still like them. They wash really well. They um, dry really great. They work really well as well. So these two have really been my favorites. After I'm done with using the Kabuki brush, I do go back in with a damp beauty blender just to make sure everything is set into the skin really well. Um, if you want to, you can also do a little couple drops of oil on top if you have super dry skin. I normally put my oil underneath and then let it set in, do my primer and all that stuff, and then go in with my drops. But these two I really have been liking. Like I said, this is the color Mocha. These are the Sephora Infusion Drops. Really, really like these. Um, next, for I'll stick to the face. So... Um, I have two concealers that I really have been loving. This is the Dark, so Dark Circle Concealer uh, from NYX Cosmetics. This is in the color Deep. I really like this. It's really, really creamy. I believe this has coconut uh, water. They make this with coconut water, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and you probably see a shadow because my light is right here problems I know but uh, normally I'll just go in with my ring finger take a little bit and just dab it dab it under my eye or wherever I have some dark spots I don't really just use this just for under my eye I'll use it for any dark spots that I do have on my skin blend it out and then go along with my day but I really do like this I feel like it is very hydrating it's not it doesn't make my under eyes super creasy which is a good thing um, and after I'm done with using this concealer, I'll put my foundation on top and then when I want to brighten that area up even more, I'll go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is the high definition concealer. Right now I'm using the color Fawn and this is pretty good for me. I use this today as well with doing my makeup. Uh, I, I use it pretty much all the time. Silly me, I took the little top off that helps you like regulate how much comes out. But I mean it's a love-hate thing because I'll just squeeze it up, dab a little bit on my skin and keep it moving. <clears throat> but I really do like this. I have a couple different colors, but so far this one, this color I feel like has been working the best. Like I said, colorful on. Uh, you could get this off Lady LadyMoss.com, LA, uh, LAgirl.com, a couple different websites sell this. Just see which one has the best deal for that week that day and purchase it off of that site. You can, and also um, local beauty supply stores have them as well. The one locally here is charging $5 for these. I think I picked this up for like $2.99, something like that. So just be wary and check prices before you actually buy because some people hike up the prices, some will keep it at a normal price and you get a couple, you could get two for the price of one pretty much sometimes. Um, okay, next. 
Okay, like I was saying, with my skin, uh, you guys know I have been loving the Cohen Humble Beautifying Oils. This is a vir virgin argan oil. I have just a little bit left. I'm like trying to use it sparingly here and there, but I'll use this on my skin as well as my hair. Speaking of hair, I do need to get my ends cut like really, really bad, and I've just kind of been like prolonging it. I don't know why. Get it together, Shaw. Um, but I really have been liking this. I'll read you guys what it says. It says, apply one to three drops on clean, dry skin on face and neck or mix it with moisturizer. Add a few drops to nails, cuticles, uh, dry patches to moisturize and onto hair to smooth fly ends, fly away ends or conditioning treatment. So a lot of different uses for this. Um, I will also put the link down below for Cohen Humble Oils. I really, really love them. Such a great company. They, uh, what does it say here? I believe I was speaking to the owner, but this is a uh, vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, just a really, really cool company. I love what they stand for. When you get these in the mail, they have little uh, cutout cards that tell you what everything does and how you can pamper yourself and all that stuff. I really love that. I think that's a really cute touch. On to my next thing. I have been a tinge lazy when it comes to washing my eye brushes and this is just as of lately because early mornings late nights you just kind of want to get it and go right so I've been really reaching for my color switch duo from Veramona this is what it looks like I have been using it obviously all my brushes are about to get cleaned but this thing is really cool I've spoken about this before I want to say this is like 16 to 20 dollars it's in that range um, this is some kind of material. I still can't figure out material what material it is, but you can have any color, you can have a black eyeshadow on your brush. Wanna go in, you know, do a smoky eye, whatever it is that you're doing, you could put it in here and that same brush will be like super clean. Like you could go in with in with that same brush on another part of your eye and eye and not muddy it up. This this part in the middle is for when you have a wet brush, you want to try to get that color out of there. That's what you can use it for. I highly recommend this if you are a makeup artist or somebody in training or you're just somebody that really likes makeup or can be lazy to clean your brushes all the time this is something that's good to keep in your back pocket just for those days that you know you're in a rush I really like this they do sell them without the middle piece um, that it will just be the full black sponge I'm not even sure what to call this I guess you could call it a sponge uh, I really like this. You guys know I really love to use glitters on my eyes and stuff. So this is something that's really good to get those things out before you want to even clean your brushes. You can get some of that glitter off um, and then clean your brushes thoroughly. So like I said, Color Switch Duo from Veramona. I think they just have the Color Switch Regular from Veramona as well. A couple different sites sell them. Um, I'll find the link and leave it down below as well for you guys. Next. For nail polish, you guys know I, I, I like took a pact with myself to try my best to keep my nails in great shape this year. I had acrylics a couple months ago, took them off, and ever since then I've kind of been rehabbing my nails. So, I like to keep my nails square. You probably can't see from where you are. I keep my nails pretty square. They'll grow out and I'll just square them out, square, you know, keep them square. But uh, I really have been looking to replace a lot of my nail polishes in my collection with things that are cruelty free, if not vegan, um, uh, five free, seven free, all those good things that you don't feel bad putting it on your body, right? So I found this company called LVX. You guys probably have heard of LVX, but this is a really great company in a beautiful color. This color is 091 Blush. You can find this at shoplvx.com. I really like this. This is the color that is on my nails now. I know us brown girls kind of struggle with finding nail polish like that that's nude or just looks like an extension of you I guess you can say um, this is such a pretty color I had it on my toes for a long time and then I was like let me try it on my hands loved it on my hands my sister put it on her toes it looks so good on her so this is uh, such a great nudie pink like if you're thinking like a nudie pink for us for brown skin this is for us so I don't know I really like this color I want to say this nail polish is around the $15 mark but you really can't complain because if OPI is doing nail polish and, and SE is charging like $8 to $12 for their nail polish, to get something that is cruelty free, doesn't have all the toxins in it, this definitely would get my vote any other day. Any day. Any day of the week. Not any other day. Any day. Yeah. So, uh, shop LVX. There's also Trust Fund Beauty too. I like their colors. Um, I have two colors from them, but this one has taken the cake for, for 
the month of June. I can't believe we're in July. Mind you, today is what, July 12th? Uh, today is the day that we uh, had to do the funeral service for my mom. But, um, and one of my friends passed away two years ago. Today, wow, how weird. Um, say a prayer. So, um, what was I saying? I don't even remember now. I went off. And I can't remember. Cuba, please watch this light. Very expensive. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Okay, so anyways, we'll just jump right back into it. Four eyeshadows. I have, you probably can't even see it. This light is probably going to blow it out. But this is the Carly Bible palette, the collaboration that she did with BH Cosmetics. Uh, if you guys don't know, she signed with Ulta Beauty, or maybe BH Cosmetics signed with Ulta to carry the Carly Bible palette in store. So if you guys weren't able to get your hands on it uh, when the palette uh, initially launched, you can run to your closest Ulta, if not go on, I, wait, is it in stores? I feel like it might be in stores too. I'm not sure if it's just Ulta.com or in stores as well. You guys can correct me if you've seen it in stores. It might just be online. But anywho, anyway, anyhow. This is a pretty, pretty palette. Um, at first, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because the colors are fairly... A lot of the, the colors are very similar. Like, these two are very similar. These two are very similar. But I really have been loving them. They are very similar, but very different at the same time. The whole look that I have on my eyes today did come from this palette. And the highlighters are really pretty. I'll use the highlighters down at the bottom for my inner corner. I'll do a little bit of a baby highlight on the tops of my cheekbones. She has some great um, matte shadows in the palette as well. I just wish she had a matte brown. It doesn't have to be like a super duper dark brown, but just a, a brown would have been nice. That's my only critique about this palette. Uh, because this one is like a mauve color. But I would have liked to see a brown in here. But I believe the palette's, what, $14? $14.50? If you can get your hands on it, I feel like you would really enjoy this. this Please don't cut off. Please don't cut off. Please don't cut off. Okay, so like I was saying, this is a good palette to have in your collection. I'm not huge on palettes, but this is a pretty good palette. Um, just for eyeshadows and highlighters. Pretty good palette. So, check it out on bhcosmetics.com. I believe also Ulta.com. I'll leave either one down below, which, what, which one I f um, find. Uh, I am, hi, my name is Sherelle, and I am addicted to wearing false lashes. Yes, I love my normal lashes. Yesterday I went to work and I didn't have any false lashes on, which is a cool thing, you know? But I really do enjoy false lashes, and I actually enjoy false lashes that look very similar to my own lash, but a lot longer. So, some of my favorite lashes are like 217s by Morphe. I think you can also use the Red Cherry Lashes 217. Um, uh, some Ono lashes, I can't remember the name, the number on those, maybe one, 107, something like that. Um, ah, I can't remember. But I love false lashes, I have tried a couple different glues. I tried some clear glues, the House of Lashes glues, and still I come back to this Duo Eyelash Adhesive. If you guys have any, uh, recommendations for some other glues that work really well, won't burn the eye, dry pretty fast, don't feel hard and crunchy when you put your lashes on, let me don't know down below. Also, ones that peel off the lash after you take them off, uh, off of your eye, let me know as well. But so far, this is the one that I've been loving. Like I said, Duo Eyelash Glue Dark Tone. I just really love this. And especially when you wear a lot of uh, black eyeliner on the top, the Dark Tone allows it to like hide a little better so you don't see the lash line or the lash band. But yeah, I really like this. And for my last couple things, this is just e.l.f. Cosmetics. This is an eyeshadow called Trendy. I really have been loving Trendy and Celebrity. Two really, really pretty colors. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand here for you guys to see. Oh, I love it. So pretty. e.l.f. Cosmetics is so affordable. You can find it in uh, Walmart. Sometimes you can find it in like TJ Maxx or Ross. When they have, I guess, like the overrun of colors, they'll just send it to those stores. Uh, but I really love this color, Trendy. I've been using e.l.f. Cosmetics for at least 10 years now, uh, and I really like that color. And then my last, my last lip items are from Pacifica. I have been loving these for the past month or so, and finally I'm like, let me take them out of my bag and let me show you guys what I've been loving. 
So, three lipsticks. This is from The Power of Love. The Power of Love, when you buy a lipstick, they'll donate one to a woman in need, which I think is really nice. So, uh, Pacifica, this one is called Sweet One. These three are very similar, but, oh no! I just nicked it. Very similar, but very different at the same time. And they work really well with glosses over top too. So this one was called Sweet One. If you could see that there. This one is called Nude. What does it say? Nude. Nudie Red. Nudie Red. I never look at the names because I just put them on. Um, and to be honest, it doesn't look like a nude red. It's more of like a pink. <laughs> and then this one is called Tender Heart. And I believe this one is my favorite out of the three. I was wearing this one earlier and I probably, I probably talked it off by now, but on top of this one I'll put the Beach Kiss from Pacifica right on top, and it's such a pretty color. These are very close to my lip tone, like kind of like a, now I wouldn't say your lips but better, but very similar to my lips. Now that they're easy, I don't really have to put a lip liner on or anything, so that's the lip gloss that goes right over top. It does have like a bit of a pink and silver shimmer to it, but it doesn't bother me on my lips. Probably can't see either of them, but that's okay. I, I like it that way, especially for summer. It's super easy. You don't have to worry about carrying different items to touch up your lips. Those have been my go-to items for the past um, probably month, month and a half now. So now it's like it's an appropriate time to talk about them. So that is my June favorites. Um, if you guys have any products that you have been loving for June and you think I should try out, please let me know down below. Hopefully they are cruelty free. I really support cruelty free items. I love to support companies on like Etsy.com, uh, smaller companies. Um, I would be including some of my Shea Moisture Nubian Heritage into this haul or my favorites not haul my favorites but I'm pretty much running super low on everything so you guys already know for my hair I love the Shea Moisture coconut curl coconut and wait coconut and hibiscus uh, smoothie curl smoothie is that what it's called I can't remember it off the top and right now in my shower I just have the yucca and plantain uh, shampoo and conditioner and then I also use a styling milk too oh and today I did use a gel the yucca and plantain super firm styling gel something like that in my hair to get my cute little puffs i looked at david i was like i feel like i look like i'm five but clearly i'm not so anyways yeah so that's my things for the shea moisture items moving into heritage i'm down to the bitter end of my patchouli and beriti lotion i need to go re-up on that that is i think by far one of my favorite scents that and i really love the smell of dark kiss from bath and body works but i haven't had that in such a long time um and then because the like i've been telling you guys the patchouli one the petroleum beriti if you guys want like a cruelty free version of the terry moogler angel that is your go-to i probably should stop telling you because it seems like every time i go to the store that sold out <laughs> and i have to just order it online but uh i guess sharing is caring right share the wealth but hopefully all is well with you guys hopefully you're having a great and blessed week and i shall see you guys in the next one please remember to be blessed well dressed and not stressed and i'll see you there